folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. It's Barry here. Today we are making oh some right stonkers. We are sorry about the grunt. It is necessary though. Uh, like we're playing tennis. Uh, quinoa burgers. So 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 good. Uh, over there is the remains of me eating some of it. Looks a bit like a murder scene. There's a knife and burger everywhere. But I went R Kelly on it. I've got to be honest. It was that good. Uh, and you can tweak it as well any way you like. Uh, so hit pause on the video. Uh, Grunt hip paws right there. Those are the ingredients, or they're also uh, in the description box down below. So, uh, shall we get on and make it quinoa, not quinoa? Quinoa. First thing to do is cook your quinoa to package instructions in some boiling water. Uh, bearing in mind the ingredients I've given you, that's the cooked weight, okay? Uh, so the actual amount that you originally pour in, it actually about trebled in weight by the end of it. So just bear that in mind when you're making it and just let it cool down once it's all done because you don't want hot quinoa in your burgers just yet. Whilst you're waiting for the quinoa to cool, you can do whatever you like really. I like to sort of dance and shimmy around my kitchen, but that's uh, completely optional. Uh, once it is cooled though, you just dump the rest of your burger ingredients into that bowl and just mix it all through until it's fully combined. All you want to do then is start to shape it into burger shaped patties using some baking paper there because it does get a little bit sticky. You can use your hands if you like, but do that and mold it into nice big old patty shapes. Ooh, sorry about that, cheeky little nibble again there. So, so good. We're going to fry up uh, our quinoa patties. I had a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil in there, quite a shallow amount, and cooked it for around about four or five minutes either side uh, so it's nice and golden brown, flipping it and then sticking it on some kitchen paper once all done. Now that gives it quite a soft uh, middle, which is what I wanted, but if you want more of a firmer middle, uh, you should set it in more deeper amounts of oil. That'll crisp it all the way through and actually firm at the middle too. So uh, completely up to you. Cook it and rest it on kitchen paper. I decided to give the uh, quinoa burgers a little bit of a mozzarella hood or a bonnet or a hat if you will. Uh, so some simply fresh sliced pieces of mozzarella uh, straight on top of the burger, whacked it in the oven for about 10 minutes to surround it and wait till you see it once we build the burger. Speaking of which, we're going to do it right now. So grab your base. Uh, on the base of the bun that I use, I just smeared on some sweet corn relish. You could use any relish you like. A good handful of rocket salad, then some freshly cut sliced beef tomatoes on there. Ugh and then our quinoa patty with the mozzarella melted topping on top, a little bit more sweet corn relish, looking so, so good, and then the lid right on top of that. That is the quinoa burger all done. Shiver me timbers, guys. The flavor is so stonking in there. I had to have a little bit more. If you missed my last two videos, don't forget to click here or here, or the links are also down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff for the latest stuff the latest stuff, things that are happening, I guess. And also, let me know down below what recipes you want to see next. Goodbye, friends. I'm going to finish that quinoa right now. Quinoa. Quinoa.